In this video, I will talk about the general workflow of Argos Low Code Solution. From building of the bot, testing it, dispatching, deploying, and finally, managing it. There are two videos in this section. In this part 1 video, I am going to cover the building of the bot and testing it. This diagram at our website shows you the three components, Stu, Pam, and Supervisor. Firstly, Stu is the low-code bot development tool that you use to build your bot. After building a bot, you will use Pam for testing it. When you are happy with the test result, you can save the bot at your supervisor account, which makes the bot available to be dispatched to any Pam, at any location under your account. There are four different ways to dispatch or deploy your bots, and they would be covered with more details in the part 2 video. In part 1, I would like to come back to Stu and show you the steps to build your bot. Building a bot with Stu is extremely simple. It is choosing your operation. Drag and drop it to this timeline. To start, I drag and drop this run program operation to initiate your bot. And then, I use the type text operation to type DIR. Followed by a shortcut key operation to press enter. Now with these three operations, the bot will open the command line interface window and execute DIR command. Now I will name this bot general workflow. And name my step here as CMD run DIR. At the bottom here, I am adding a delay operation. This is only to show you the completion of execution. Then, adding kill process is a good and popular practice to clean up the environment. It closes applications that are already open. Likewise making necessary adjustment to the delay time here is a typical procedure. In this case I think 500 milliseconds is too short for Windows, so I change it to 1.5 seconds. This makes the bot to wait for 1.5 seconds before proceeding to the next operation. Windows is a very slow operating system as you know. Now, the bot is ready for test. There are several different ways you can come to run menu here and click test run. Or you can come to this timeline and then right click here to show this menu and this test run which includes a few options. I'm going to choose test until the end of the step. Immediately, Stu packages the bot file and gives it to Pam. Pam executes the bot and she kills the command line interface. When she's done with test run, she gives back the test result here. S means successful and F means failure. In this case the bot execution was all successful. As you can see, all the operations came back in color blue. However, in case there is a failure with the execution, this pop-up message will open automatically, indicating descriptions as to which operation has failed and the color is going to be red. That's how you build your bot and test it. Happy automation!